In this video, we're going to show you how to change the regulator manifold on a Burish BT350 or 3100V air compressor. You'll need some Burish X4550 sealant adhesive compound, a Phillips head screwdriver, an 11, 12, 14 and 19 millimeter spanner, as well as an adjustable spanner, a small wire brush and a heat gun or hairdryer. Before starting any work on an air compressor, make sure to drain all of the air from the vessel until both gauges are showing zero. You also want to make sure the compressor is unplugged from the wall outlet. Using a 12mm spanner, undo the two flare nuts holding the discharge pipe as shown. You can now gently remove the discharge pipe completely. Using a 14mm spanner, undo and remove the safety valve as shown. You'll now want to heat up the areas surrounding the outlet couplings with a heat gun. This will soften the adhesive compound and make it easier to remove. Use your 19mm spanner to undo and remove the two outlet couplings as shown. Heat the area below the gauge to soften the compound and use an 11mm spanner to undo the gauge. Repeat the process on the other side. Undo the pressure switch cover box with Phillips head screwdriver as shown. Next, undo and remove this earth terminal. Do the neutral power wire and the live power wire. Switching to the other side of the pressure switch, undo the earth terminal. as well as the neutral and live wire. Using an adjustable spanner, you can undo the large nut that holds the regulator manifold tight by just a couple turns. Apply some heat to the area shown to soften the compound. You can now turn the whole assembly anti-clockwise by about a quarter turn. Using a Phillips head screwdriver, undo and remove the clamping brace that holds the wires in place. You can now pull the wires down out through the bottom of the pressure switch. Temporarily tighten the nut holding the regulator manifold tight. Heat the lower area of the pressure switch using a heat gun or hair dryer to soften the compound. This will make it easy to remove. Using an adjustable spanner, undo and remove the pressure switch as shown. You can now undo the nut holding the regulator manifold in place. Heat the area surrounding the regulator manifold thread as shown. You can now undo and remove the regulator manifold from the air compressor tank. Using a small brush, you can clean up the threads as shown.
Using an adjustable spanner, remove the nut from the old regulator manifold. Install the nut to the new regulator manifold. Apply some X4550 sealant adhesive compound to the threads, making sure that all of the threads are covered. You can now reinstall the regulator manifold. and tighten up the holding nut using an adjustable spanner. Apply some sealant adhesive compound to the top thread of the regulator manifold as shown. Make sure it's applied liberally. Refit the pressure switch to the threads as shown. Turn the pressure switch on by hand until it starts to get tight, but leave it at a 45 degree angle so you can attach the wires. Wipe off any excess sealant compound using a paper towel. You can now feed the wires back into the pressure switch as shown and tighten up the clamp. Turn the pressure switch the last quarter turn so that it sits perpendicular to the compressor. Don't worry about tightening with the spanner as the sealant adhesive compound will lock it in place. Undo the two terminals just a few turns as shown. Insert the blue wire neutral into the top terminal and the brown live wire into the bottom terminal as shown. Tighten these up. You can now undo the terminal completely for the earth wire. And tighten it back as shown. Tuck the earth wire away into the recess like this. Attach the earth wire to the earth terminal as shown. And tighten. Undo the two terminals just a couple of turns and insert the neutral blue wire on the top terminal and tighten and the brown live wire at the bottom terminal and tighten. Tuck the wires away. Brush clean the threads of the gauge and apply sealant to the adhesive compound. Reinstall the gauge by hand. There's no need to tighten it with a spanner because the sealant adhesive compound will lock it tight. Repeat the process on the other side. Brush the threads of both of the outlet couplings and apply sealant adhesive compound as shown. Install the quick release couplings into the manifold as shown. Again, no spanner is necessary as the sealant adhesive will lock it in place. Repeat the process on the other side.
Brush the threads of the safety valve clean and apply sealant adhesive compound. And finally, reinstall the safety valve and tighten up by hand. Reinstall the discharge pipe in the original orientation using a 12mm spanner. Be sure not to over tighten the flare nuts. Reinstall the switch box cover and tighten with a Phillips head screwdriver. Allow up to 8 hours for the compound adhesive to fully cure. For air compressors, spare parts and accessories, visit www.gta.co.uk.